Beautiful is about a transition for me, from darkness to light, from pain to pleasure, from hopelessness to hope. And beautiful is about finding my inner voice because I felt so voiceless at a time. And it's also about connecting with my inner child and, and loving myself and feeling worthy, worthy of more. And go. Well, the cultural background I grew up in was very suppressive, especially towards women. Men around me, though, boys around me were able to attend, you know, school camps and balls and, you know, my place was the kitchen and, and the house and that's just how it was. What I had to say wasn't important. I was just devalued as a female. So coming out in my culture with my music and with being so free within myself, was, I was ostracised. The age of three is my earliest memory. I, I felt like, you know, I had to be perfect and there was something seriously wrong with me, that I was seriously messed up, that I was a mistake. I felt such hopelessness, um, pain and anguish and I felt very alone, extremely alone and like I could not tell anybody because of fear of judgement and fear of, fear of being exposed. I realised there was a way out and I got rid of that toxicity within me that was limiting me every day, telling me that I wasn't worthy of more, that I would never amount to anything or become anybody. A lot of people have given me feedback that they've connected with the song in the sense that it's allowed them to escape some form of darkness. Through my music I found my voice because I felt that it was taken away from me through suffocation for a very long time. So through my, my music, I was able to channel my voice. I felt like I was in such a dark place and that there was no way out ever. And my message to those people out there that feel that there's no way out is that there is. I want people to hear beautiful and think that and be hopeful. I'm still beautiful. People who have been abused are one and a half times more likely to abuse their children and, and their family members and become abusers. It's really easy to slip into that's all I know so that's how I'm going to be towards my child. It's the easiest thing but it's about committing to not becoming like that because I know what it felt like and I remember what it felt like so much and so deeply that I would never ever abuse my daughter. I'm just really conscious of not being like that with my, my, my child. It has not been an easy transition, but it's possible. And looking back at my life now and seeing how far I've come allows me to, you know, 100% be sure that, that that is possible. That anything's possible if you commit to it and if you create a possibility around change. I feel that Beautiful has helped people and will continue to help people because so many of us think that we're alone when we're going through abuse, whether it's violence, whether it's emotional abuse, whether it's financial, whether it's any form of abuse, sexual abuse. A lot of people are suffering in silence. And my hope is that with this track, I can create hope for people and make them realise they're not alone and that there is help out there for them. That no matter what you've done or what you haven't done, you are worthy of love. I guess it's like not being a victim of your past, but a master of your destiny.